History of the Jet Engine. Sit back and enjoy the show. <coughs> I hate this stupid plane, stupid smoking children. Wow, what oh crud! What happened to my engine? Stop! <coughs> That's why I, Sir Isaac Newton, designed the jet engine. You know these propellers these days aren't really reliable. Hey, what happened to you? Shut the dying up! That's not very nice. It was Sir Isaac Newton who first theorized the building of a jet engine by a guided explosion to propel an object forward with heat. After that, Henry Gifford built an airship with a jet engine, yet it couldn't take off because the engine was too heavy. An American then tried to fly his triple biplane with two steam engines. It only flew for under a minute. The first successful design of a turbo engine was designed by Frank Whittle, an English pilot. It flew in April 1937. The first aircraft to actually use the engine was the German Heinkel He 178, designed by Hans von Ohain. All jet airplane engines work on a similar basis. Mary Bellis wrote this. The engine sucks air in at the front with a fan. A compressor raises the pressure of the air. The compressor is made up of fans with many blades and attached to a shaft. The blades compress the air. The compressed air is then sprayed with fuel and an electric spark lights the mixture. The burning gases expand and blast out through the nozzle at the back of the engine. As the jets of gas shoot backward, the engine and the aircraft are thrust forward. Little did Sir Isaac Newton know that his revolutionary theory would change the future of flight. By designing the engine, he ensured the people of the future would fly in luxury on waft of heat, not coughing in the smoke from a cumbersome propeller. End of the show, folks. I got my information from this site. Adios, amigos.